Hey everybody, welcome back to Detective Pikachu. We need to talk to our family. So we're heading out when we're ready, but first we've got to say hello. Oh, see the newspapers arrived. You subscribe to the newspaper, Tim? Yeah, it's trying to see his daily paper. We never used to read the paper when you lived at home. What changed? Well, I'm a college student now, and I thought I should read the newspaper at least. Wow. That was the stupidest fucking reason. I'm a detective. <laughs> Would have been a much better answer than, well, I'm an adult now. Well, aren't you mature? What are you doing, Tim? Trying to look cool or something? I'm the one who suggested that you start getting a newspaper, you know. As a detective, it's important to be gathering information at all times. I'm sure there's a lot going on every day in the city as big as this one. Checking the newspaper regularly is a good idea. Your mom knows what she's talking about, Tim. She's fucking smart. She's smart as hell. So what are you waiting for? Read the fucking newspaper. Oh my god, the last development is the Jewel Fat Thief. Looks like they still haven't found the Aurora Drop. Back to Holiday, his team could be searching for the Jewel and Cameron. There's been no progress on, on either front. You can kind of see the little cube look on his back. Speaking, how did they get this? Sh how did they get these shots? It's very impressive. Speaking of camera, he was acting really weird then, wasn't he? According to the article, even Turner didn't know why he acted like that. So Turner didn't order camera to swallow the jaw and escape. Hmm, something about this is real fishy. The <laughs> rope Lily Pop says by the article about a woman who got injured inside her house and couldn't move. This her Lily Pop went outside and howled to alert the neighbors. Oh, that's a sweet story. Hey, wait. Look at that photo. Is this the woman we met yesterday? The one that leap up right off? Let me see. Yeah, you're right. We met her in front of the dentist's residence. The leap up was, well, was a pretty shy little guy who preferred quiet places. Her leaves keep barking and howling until the neighbors finally noticed. Well, I guess he gathered up all the courage he could to help his beloved partner. Wow. Do you reckon if we hadn't saved, uh, hadn't found Lillipup, that would have been like... <laughs> Part of the missing Lillipup dies searching for her. <laughs> Apparently a new medicine has been developed using Rombri's pollen puffs. Makes sense. Rombri makes, uh, makes a lot of different kinds of puff, pollen, pollen puffs. I hear the pollen puffs have different effects based on the flowers and the nectar the pollen came from. I bet I, I bet how they mix ingredients could be applied to human medicine too. Wonder what kind of pollen puffs are the rombri we were making yesterday? Huh, it might come up with something real really surprising. Uh, but first, a little cutie fight needs to learn how to give a nectar properly. A daily crossword. I don't want to do this. What's the crossword is like? It's surprisingly challenging. I look forward to it every day. Crossword is written by readers. Wow, I'm impressed. People can make make some. Okay, Tim, let's fill it out. I don't want to fill it out. Let's see. A Pokemon catches prey with its long tongue. Oh, it's Lickitung. That'd be Lickitung. Got the right number of letters and everything. This, po this Pokemon uses a cute, its cute looks to put you off guard and steal from you. Meowth? No, there's not enough letters. Uh, but Burloin, then. This Pokemon always moves together in a well coordinated group. Based on the squares we already filled in, guessing it's going to be Flanx. Hey Pikachu, I think I heard these hints before. Yeah, you're right. This puzzle must have been created by a certain quiz professor. Oh my god. Yeah, so that is literally just a reminder of what happened. Yo, Apple. This is an actual Apple, right? Not an Apple? Just normal Apple. I chopped it myself. Was Applin, now it's Apple. Oh. More news about start. Oh yeah, it'd be interesting. Uh -huh. This is GNN News. Mayor Myers released a statement today expressing hope that the city council would pass the Pokemon Friendship Bill. The mayor is planning to deliver a speech today to rally support for the bill from the citizens of Rhine City. 
Now, in other news, local detective Tim Goodman, along with his partner Pikachu, received medals from Mayor Myers in recognition of their service. These great detectives have solved many cases throughout Rhyme City. Together, these two are a shining example of Rhyme City's ideals, and we wish them well in their future endeavors. Check it out, we're famous. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> it's weird to be on a spotlight like this. They're uh, saying good things about us. They're allowed to be pleasant, pleased by the team. So that the man's gonna give a speech about the Pokemon Friendship Bill, too. Man, Mars is Rachel's father. I imagine it's what it's like having a marriage or dad. Yep. Hey, Tim. Pikachu, he seems kind of odd, don't you think? What do you mean? But yeah. He is, isn't he? I've never seen a Pikachu that drinks coffee before. Well, I've never seen one of these mac and cheese and passes out before, but he does that too. For detail. Right. Good, good morning, Ma. You sleep well, okay? Yes, yes, just fine, thanks. You have classes today, don't you? I'm actually heading out to an uh, important investigation this morning. Once you're okay, case, all you can think about. It's like your father, good grief. Oh, well, I don't suppose you heard from Dad at all. I would have told you if I had. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I sure loves you, Harry. Must be nice. <laughs> that was what we received. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess that's just why they were shining. You Pikachu you're so funny. Funny? Not cute? The way Sophia reacts to stuff is a bit different from everyone else. Uh, is that it? Or oh, I guess we're heading out. Mm -hmm. We should get going. Well, right, I want to buy more coffee beans. Our supplies are in low. Okay, okay. The usual dark roast, right? Anyway, we're heading out now. Bye, have a nice day. Thanks, thanks, sis. Hmm. You sure we're supposed to meet Rachel at the front of the hi hat cafe? Yeah, I should be should be here by now. Let's keep her. Please, Papa, just listen to me. I sound like Rachel. Why don't you understand, Papa? Pokemon don't need to be managed. The people who use them to commit crimes are the real problem. Rachel, no matter how many times we have this same conversation, I'm not going to change my mind. You never listen! <sighs> Tim. <laughs> he looked like he was about to fucking cry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Tim. Empathy runs high in you, hey? Is everything okay? Let's just go inside. Excuse me. What were you and your dad talking about? Ah, uh, the Pokemon friendship bill. Ah, uh, they mentioned that in the news. That it was a bill to help Pokemon or something. I happened to read the actual text of the bill in Papa's study the other day. Uh, the one phrase that kept popping up throughout the whole thing was to monitor and manage Pokemon. Pretty much a friendship bill in name only. Uh, I can't believe I tried to, to try to deprive Pokemon of their freedom. Papa seriously changed. So you're against your father's bill? Pokemon should be able to live freely. They don't need to be managed. They don't even... Even during the R incident, Pokemon were the victims. It was the cruel people who were responsible. But, sorry, this isn't what I came here to discuss. This is what you wanted to talk about yesterday, isn't it? And I just wanted someone to listen to me. I'm glad you could... Well, it didn't sound like your dad wasn't listening to you. It sounded like he was just disagreeing with you. I'm glad I could talk to you and Tim about it. I'm always happy to lend an ear, but are you sure you don't need any other help? Yes, I'm fine now, really. Let's just get to the real topic of the day, the duel. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yesterday, 
You said you could introduce me to the professor from City University. Yes, Professor Gordon. <coughs> he's Professor Gordon. He's lending a figure. He's a leading figure in a field in manual archaeology. He researches the connections between minerals and ancient civilizations. I figured he could probably tell us something about the jewel. Right now, though, he's conducting research at the Southern Ruins. I have to travel quite a ways to see him. Yeah, those ruins are pretty far from here. Steelwork is a huge part of material uh, archaeology. Once the professor sets out, he usually doesn't come back for several months. Sounds like we better go over there and meet him. Yeah, who knows how long we'll be waiting if we stay here. Okay, we better get going. You want to get there before sundown? Huh? You're coming too, Rachel? I mean, it's not like you actually know the Professor Gordon. I'm the one taking his class. It could be a very good class if he just appears for months on end. Besides, I think it'd be fun to help the great detective out on a case. Hey, hey, this is all fun and games, you know. The Fabled Aurora. Yo, look, there's a fucking Rowlet. And a Chargeburg. Oh my god, there's so many Pokemon here. Huh? Why is it snowing? Just what's going on here? Oh, it's freezing cold. And it's just here in this specific area. Yeah, those monkeys behind you are freezing. I don't think they're used to this. Hmm. They've slowed their FPS with everything. There was only snowing around the ruins. No way, this is normal. Sounds like a Reggie eyes to me. Be the BB boo boops, you know what I'm saying? Always in ruins. Now let's find the professor. Maybe he'll be able to tell us something about all this. <laughs> Good plan. The ruins are just up ahead of this hill. We should be able to find him there. Just up the hill? Okay, let's go, Tim. Alright. I don't want to have a look. Hey, Tim, where are you going? That's not the fucking way, you idiot. Yeah, fucking idiot. This way. I just wanted to have a little look. Look around, see what we got. We got some monkeys. We got a blast crater over there. We got a little chargey bug. What's he got to say for himself? Charge. What a strangely shaped Pokemon. Yeah, you don't see these in Ram City. Okay. A little Rowlet. The Rally Boy. Oh, wow, Rowlet. Sure is a cute Pokemon. Okay. I'm gonna beat you. Oh, we got a guy with a Zigzagoon over here. The Zigzagoon is so cute. Look at it. It's so fucking good. Oh, well, hello there. Yes. Hello. What are you up to all the way out here? I'm a fossil collector. I travel all over the world, searching for new additions to my collection. This is my partner, Zigzagoon. Yeah. Rock Smasher. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to use his help later on. Zig Zig. Fossils, huh? You really think you'll find some here? Uh, give me an idea how incredible these ruins are. There are countless fossils buried around here, just waiting to be unearthed, and I intend to do just that. Well, evidence of an ancient civilization and fossils? Sounds like kind of place legends are born from. Furthermore, our new research has confirmed that the construction of these ruins are uh, considered with a huge meteor shower. Oh my god, it coincided with a huge meteor shower, that's pretty cool. Hundreds of meteors are said to have fallen from the sky and land here, yes, yes. Truly these ruins are stuff of legends. Well, I hope you're able to find some fossils. Oh, thank you. And before I forget, uh, do you happen to know of a Pokemon that is capable of breaking this boulder? There's something behind it, I can feel it in my bones. Might even be a fossil. My Zigzagoon usually helps me out with this sort of thing. The poor paws are frozen numb. We don't... We don't want to have to trudge all the way out here for a fossil excursion. Just to be stopped by some nippy weather, you know? Uh, yeah, I wish I knew something that could. Me too. But it's not like either of us can burst a big boulder like that. Hmm. 
If only we just had Pokemon strong enough to break rocks. Okay. This one. <laughs> Levin. It's Levani. Looks kind of anxious. What do you think, sir? It's wrong? Hey, Levin, did something bad happen? Levy, Levin. Oh, I see. It's worried because Solude still hasn't come home. That means he's gone looking for him a lot already and can't find him anywhere. Well, it's cold in. It's cold it is here. I can see why the very wood is worried. Well, if we find Sutherland, we'll tell him to come home. Good idea. Apparently there's two Sutherland missing. Two of them? Got it. Okay, Levini. Leave it to us. Nah, don't worry about it. We look for him while we're conducting our own other investigations. He wants us to deliver these clothes to Sutherland. So if we find it, they'd be probably shivering because it's cold. These are clothes with Sutherland? Yeah, Levini can use them... Use that silk, silk, uh, sticky silk to weave clothes or other, or other leaves. Okay, got it. Search for the loon deliver the clothes. They just sit tight, stop worrying. There. Alright. I'm sure we must find them at some point. They'll probably be around here somewhere, right? It's a big ass fucking hole. It's blocking the road. Such a big asshole. What about you, Esmeri? You seem strong enough to break a boulder. Ursa. Oh, it's an Ursa. Don't see those back around see very often. Should sure don't look happy, Ursa. Something wrong? Ursa, Ursa. Came all the way from far away baboon forest. Were your Ursa and friends look for food? Now your friends gone missing for days? Oh, I can see why it's worried. Let's help us ring search for a friend. Yeah. We may as well be in a bit of an investigation, but I'm worried about that of Do you have any information that might help our search? Ursa. Last time you saw your friend, he was heading towards the ruins? Hmm. Sounds like the other Ursa might be inside then. Alright. We'll let you know if we find your friend. Ursa. If we find his friend, he might be willing to help us break the rocks, right? Mm hmm. Red berry berries growing here. Looks like Habin berries. Aren't they the spicy ones? You right there, Monfanner? How's it going, buddy? It's a Monfanner. We probably lives around here. Doesn't look too happy. Mon Mon. Doesn't like how cold it's gotten so suddenly. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Mon. What about you, Monfanner? Can't you create fire, my fellow? It could be help you deal with the cold. Mon. Oh, it's so cold that it's hard to eat up your flight. Hmm, okay. It says it might leave the area if cold continues much longer. This prefers warm places. What's the snow? Hey. Snowfall is pretty rare here, isn't it? Come on. It's the first time you've seen snow here when, it, when it's not winter? Hmm. Where did the snow start? Mon my father. A few days ago, he says. Hmm. Right when some humans arrived. Oh, clouds suddenly suddenly started to gather above the ruins and then started to snow. Real strange that the snow is orderly falling around the ruins. Yeah, maybe we'll learn more if we pay them a visit. Alright. What's this way? Oh, I got this view again. Yeah, the berries. Let's be better at berries. Low tat. Low tat. Low tat. Low, low, low. Low, 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 low. Those low tats are singing so cheerfully. Sorry to bother you when you're having so much fun, but do you mind if we ask you some questions? No. What's this place? Hey. You free always lived here? Low, low, low. Oh. So you love it here because it's warm and has plenty of food. It's a shame the weather's like this now. Low. Apparently they're just fine. They're just worried about the old Pokeball right here. I hope the snow stops soon. 
All right. Tim, over here. Mhm. Mm the berries. Get the yachi berries. Over here, where? What's up? Yeah, I'm yawning too, dude. I'm tired. That's it. You said Tim, Tim, over here. Like there was some, like. Tim, over here. Hey. Hey, Lotad. Oh. How does it feel to live your life floating on the water? Lotad. Lotad, Lotad. Lotad. Wow, what a way to live. That was incredible, PG. Let's ask about you, then we'll do this quiz. Your dad seemed really happy. They take you, you're not bothered by the cold. They said it low. Cold snip like this is no problem when they can sing. They want to hurry up and evolve because they can dream, because their dream is to dance together. That's Ludi Curler at the High Hats Cafe to join them. Hilarious. Alright, quiz. Ah, oh, we meet again, Detective. Remember me? Hello. Um, how are you again? Oh, come on, it's me, the quiz professor. Now let's get started with today's Pokemon quiz. Answer the, answer the correct Pokemon and I will give you some fun trivia about the Pokemon as a reward. What a reward! <laughs> uh, she was at the park in Ram City too. I'm um, actually pretty busy now. Okay, question number one. You know, wing Pokemon with a round body and adorable eyes. The correct Pokemon can be found close by, so get to find it. It's a Rowlet. That'd be... Let me just answer. But if they haven't come across the answer, I guess we can tell her. Uh, well, we know what the answer is. We know what the fuck else we know what the answer is. The fucking Rowlet. Here it is. The Rowlet. Hmm. There's adorable eyes and a round body. Just like the quiz professor said. Are you talking about this perk one? She must have been. All right, let's go back to the professor and tell what we found. Like, surely you can't fuck this up, right? Yo, we got it. Hey, Jackson, fair the answer? Yeah, the Rowlet. Bingo! Maybe I'll give you too many hints. Rowlet is nocturnal during the day. It stays still in the first synthesize. Then when then they hunt, they suddenly sneak up on their prey and attack you with fierce kicks. I'm glad I didn't meet it at night then. We might have had it learned about those sneak attacks the hard way. On to question number two. Hello? What Pokemon has a body, a blocky body, impressive jaws, and will shock you if you touch it? Oh, I guess it must be Charger Bug. Maybe a legend type Pokemon. Oh. Maybe a legend type Pokemon. I guess we can keep an eye out for it. Oh, so I go back to the exact same fucking spot. I know which Pokemon you fucking mean. I just. Ah. Look, it looks like Chris described. Charger bug. Charge charge. Oh, it's important. Sorry. Anyway, we know the answer. Let's go tell her. All right, let's go tell her. Hey, it's if you but look on your face, you found the answer. <laughs> Judgment. Exactly. Good job. Chargebug eats full of leaves to convert them into electricity. They can store electricity just like a battery. Seems like that'd be pretty useful Pokemon to have in a great outdoors. But well, you said Pokemon had that talent. Hey, Tim, I know you, you know I can hear you, right? Now for the question three. The last one. The Pokemon is soft and fluffy all over. 
Find the fluffiest Pokemon around these ruins. Soft and fluffy, huh? I don't know, the only one I can think of is Ursary. You're not soft and fluffy. You're a nursery. Mm, it's probably not Zigzagoon. Can't be those two. There is no more. All right, must be further up. Must be further up into the ruins. That's fine. We'll find that hopefully next time. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time for more detectiving. Goodbye.